So about nine months ago, Amazon went through a huge change and ended up removing 2 million reviews off of Amazon. Ever since then, reviews have never been the same. It has become harder and harder to get reviews legitimately and keep reviews over a long period of time. So the question becomes, how can new sellers launch on Amazon with no reviews, right? I've done how to launch with only BBC. I've done how to launch with giveaway services. Today, we're gonna to talk about how to launch and rank successfully on Amazon without paying for giveaway services and having any reviews. Stick around guys, this is gonna be good. So my goal for this video is very simple. All right, it's to teach you how to rank and launch on Amazon without paying for a ton of different services, such as giveaway services, having zero reviews, and also being fully terms of service compliant. So if you guys can stay till then, all right, and kind of put those cat videos on hold for now, okay? Um, I'll tell you about my favorite strategy to get reviews where you can use it with this strategy to actually you know, get to the first page and stay there. So it's gonna be very valuable. So like I said, put the cat videos on hold. Let's commit to some attention guys because if you can't stick around for this video, um, you know, getting reviews is the least of your concerns. Um, if you can't stay for this, this is, you know, we, we have bigger problems. So let's continue. Before we get started, some inspiration because I know this is important to get you guys uh, you know, zoned in, all right? So right here we have Lauren, and basically Lauren launched her product with no PPC, no reviews, pretty much nothing. Um, and she got to the first page, basically, she made almost $2,000 in six days, I believe in her first six days. She's doing really, really well, and I wanna show you guys exactly why Lauren's doing so well in this video, okay? So you guys can replicate the process and do this the exact same thing, all right? So you guys are probably ready to know how you can rank without getting any reviews. You guys excited, you guys ready to learn? Just kidding guys, we're not getting there just yet because there's one thing you guys have to know, um, you guys have to really understand to get this whole process correct, right? So let's talk about keywords and how ranking on Amazon actually works, okay? So you need to understand the basics, the fundamentals. And in this case, I have a, an image here from a simple search of barbecue gloves on Amazon and this is the way it's laid out okay so um, one important thing to note is the way the the results are laid out are based on sales so the more sales you get the higher up you show on the ranking so it, very simply right number one here is making more sales than number two number two is making more sales than number three number three is making more sales than number four for this particular keyword all right so that's how the Amazon algorithm works it's very very important to understand that because sales gets you ranked higher and that's exactly how the algorithm works. So what you usually do to get ranked is one, either try to jumpstart this AI algorithm, you know, to get giveaways and to get fake sales to make it look like you're getting more sales to the algorithm so it pushes you up in those ranks. And that works, but it can be costly and it requires reviews, okay? Or number two, what people usually try to do, okay, is use PPC to force your way to the first page. Now. This can also be costly if done in the wrong way. Lucky for you guys, okay, I've actually come out with a video telling you exactly how to launch with only PPC. All right, you click up there or wherever it shows there and it'll take you to the video, but guys, you, know, you can click it now, finish this video, okay, it's gonna open a new tab, then go back and watch that one after, but stay for this one because this is incredibly important foundational knowledge for that next video as well, all right? So let's continue. Today I'll show you the third way, okay, the secret third way that people don't really talk about, right? We talked about the, the first way and the second way, which is the PPC and the giveaways, but today we're gonna talk about how to actually rank without reviews. So you're ready to know how to rank and launch with no reviews, right? Wrong, okay, <laughs> we're not talking about it just yet because to understand how to rank without reviews, we need to first understand why it's difficult to rank without reviews, okay? So the reason it's difficult to rank without reviews is because very simply, without reviews, no one clicks on your product. With no clicks, you get no sales, and that's pretty much how it works, okay? Without clicks, no sales. Reviews are social proof. That's basically what Amazon runs on, and humans are like children in this sense, okay? And especially on Amazon. If someone has bought it and likes it and, and uses it, then we also now absolutely need that same product, okay? Without any reviews, without people saying that's amazing, without people saying that they love it, you're not gonna want it. So in this case, social proof is is incredibly important. And especially on Amazon, it's one of the key, you know, pivotal points for our product. So because we're talking about how to rank without reviews, this is something that we won't be able to utilize. So that's why it's something that you need to understand 
in this case. Okay, that's why social proof is so important. So now, now that we understood that, now that we understand how keywords work and how ranking works, can you tell us how to launch with no reviews? Yes, I can, and we can actually start now. So it's five things, okay? Five things are incredibly, incredibly important. Um, you know, kind of the, the, the building blocks of what gets products to the first page, all right? So let's go over my super awesome graph that I'm gonna lay out here, okay? On the top here, we have so important, okay? And on the bottom, we have not so important. So we're gonna start off with product uniqueness and differentiation. As you guys can see, it's high up there on the importance scale, but I'm not gonna beat a dead horse with this. Everyone knows, right? If you guys watch any of my videos or any videos on Amazon at all, you know that product uniqueness slash differentiation is super, super important adding value to the product is something you need to do. So I'm not gonna beat a dead horse here. You guys know exactly why that's important. And um, yeah, let's continue. So second most important thing right behind that, all right, is reviews, okay? And that's basically how many reviews you have, but also the quality of the reviews. Meaning, you know, do you have a four star average, four and a half star, five star, do you have a three star? So, you know, the actual quality of the reviews is the thing that matters, number two, okay? So you sometimes you can have bad ratings, so three star average, but because your product is so unique and differentiated, people still want to buy it. So number two on the on that you know scale is reviews. After that, you can see it's a little lower down than um, the previous two is images. Mostly the first image. Of course, the other images matter, but the first one is really really what matters. So you have to make sure you have a good one. Right after that, you see how that one's close to. All right, it's the offered price. So how expensive? Is your product is it super cheap is it a premium option and um that's something that really matters we're going to go really in depth on that one in just a few minutes so lastly the fifth factor of this whole list which is as you can see on the not so important scale is listing copy now to say that it's not so important you know compared to the rest of them it's still a very important thing it's something you need to get right again we're going to discuss this in just a little bit so listing copy bullet points in the description that's basically what that is all right because the title doesn't really need to be super super nice because the title's only there basically for keyword relevance, all right? So that's that's that, all right? So the reason I've placed it in that order of so important versus not so important is because, let's just take a look at this image right here, okay? It's basically a heat map of where our eyes look at on an Amazon page, okay? And this is basically, as you can see, okay, what the most people look at, you know, the darker red it gets, it means people are looking at there the most, is the image and also where the reviews are. The price is also something that people look at, but not as much as the as the as the image and the reviews. Now in this case, it's a little bit different because we're talking about a book rather than a product. But from my experience, image matters more than price, just slightly. All right, so that's why I've put it in this kind of order. Let's continue. Basically, there are two answers. Two answers to to how to rank with no reviews. Okay, there's a short one and a long one. For those of you guys who need to go back to that cat video, okay, I'll give you the short one. Basically, you need to get at least three to out of five, preferably of those five factors to be good. Preferably four out of five, okay? If you can do four out of five, then you'll be able to launch and rank with no reviews. And by getting those factors right, I'm gonna actually go into depth with a long answer and tell you exactly how to get those those factors correct so that you can launch without getting, um, you know, without having any reviews, right? So. Like I said, the long answer and where the value really is for this video. It's how do you get the four to five necessary factors to rank? So I told you about them, but how do you actually get them to be right so that you can rank? And that's where this video is going to thrive for you guys, right? So focus on the important factors to launch or for launch, right? Now for a launch, okay, let's go back to our, our figure here. Okay, the so important, not so important. As you guys are going to see for launch, it actually changes, the, the importance changes. So you have the product uniqueness, the reviews are a little lower down than they were in the last graph. We also have the images, and as you can see, the offered prices leapfrog the reviews. And the reason for this is because during a launch, the offered price matters more than reviews, especially if we're going into it not being able to get reviews, right? The whole point of this video is how to launch without reviews. So one of the factors, which is reviews, we won't be able to affect, okay? So that's why offered price will become a more important factor that really will affect how well we can launch without any reviews, right? Then we have images, like I said, and listing copy still down low. Now, before we go out manipulating those factors, we need to first understand um, why we're doing it in the first place, all right? So in the first place, what is the reason for manipulating those factors? 
It's very simple, guys. It's because we need clicks. We need people to see the product. We need people to click on the product and we need people to buy, okay? Because more clicks goes more sales, goes more money and a higher rank for your product. So essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to replicate a higher click through rate, right? We're trying to get higher click through rate because the more traffic we're getting to the actual listing, the more people are going to buy. It's a numbers game at this point, okay? So we need to add so much value to our product, okay? And to our listing where reviews can be neglected by the consumer, okay? And this is very difficult to get right which is why I made this video to show it and break it down for you guys, right? So now that we're back to this amazing graph, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually pick different factors, actually pull back the curtain and see exactly what to manipulate to get the results you're looking for. So in this case, we're gonna start off with offered price, okay? So let's go here. So price, the first thing we need to do is find the breakthrough price, okay? Every product has a breakthrough price. What we need to do is we need to find it and we need to go a bit lower to get our product rolling, okay? So like I said, we have to increase the value of our products. So in this case, you can see we're using some uh, food bags, these silicone bags, which I'm pretty sure are patented, but we're gonna use them in this situation. And if you guys don't have Keep Up, Keep Up has become a paid thing, which kind of sucks, but um, you guys can get Helium 10, Basically, the Chrome extension gives this to you for free. So pick that up and you can have this for free or you can just pick up Keep Up to you guys. So basically, so basically what we're doing here is we're using the blue line in this case, which is the actual sales price. And then we have the green line, which is the sales rank. So basically, the lower the sales rank is, okay, to this line here, the more sales it's getting. I know it's a little counterintuitive, but yeah, okay, follow me here. The lower it is, the more it's making sales. So what we need to do is we need to find at which point this blue line becomes a price where the green line drops steadily, like really fast, right? So right here, you can see, you know, they dropped the price a bit, the green line dropped, but really we're trying to look at the breakthrough price. When did this product go from a dud to starting to make some serious profit, okay? So as we can see here, uh, you know, they had the price at $23, which shows that low price doesn't always mean good price because as soon as they switched it here, you can see the sales rank started to increase, which means they started getting less and less sales. Then as soon as they raised the price to $26, okay, the price, start, the, the, the rank started to drop here. So as you can see for this product, the breakthrough price is about $26. That's what really broke through. And that's when this product turned from a pretty shitty product to one that was making money, all right? So what we would do here is we would take a breakthrough price. So if, you know, if we find a competitor, okay? So basically let's say we were trying to sell these bags. We'd find a competitor like this person. We'd look at their breakthrough price and then we'd go a little bit lower. So maybe in this case, they go 25 or maybe $26 to use that as my breakthrough price. The number two here that we actually skipped over a bit is the do not fluctuate your price every two hours. I know myself when I was starting off, every time I had a slow hour or, a, or you know, a couple, you know, sales less than usual, I would try to play with the price and I'd mess around with it. I know this happens with everyone. So what you need to do is just relax, okay? Do not switch your price more than once every other day, I would say, okay? So keep it steady. Amazon doesn't like when you fluctuate your prices and when you're messing around with stuff because it just means that you're trying to either make more profit or, you know, you're just too much messing around. It's not good for the algorithm. So keep it the way it is for a little while before you decide to change it. Back to our super awesome graph here. We're going to images. Okay. So mostly the first image and what we're going to do is we're going to again pull back the curtain here. Number one thing you want to do for your images is mimic the first image of your best selling competitor. Okay. So in this case, we're going to go into here again. <clears throat> and let's go to here, okay? So let's say we want to sell a kitchen knife set, okay? And this guy is, let's say, the best, um, you know, the best selling competitor that we have. You come in here for the images. What you wanna do is for the first image, just literally mimic it, okay? If this image works for them, then make your image look like this. Make your image like this. Don't reinvent the wheel, all right? You know, put your nice, you know, uh, whatever knife holder set here, put a knife sideways like this and just mimic it with your own brand, with your own product and, you know, use the same camera angle, you know, don't look from high above or from low, just follow what's already proven. That's the secret to it all, okay? Follow what has already proven to work. Number two is use the jungle market for images, okay? So if you guys are gonna get images, invest in some good, good images, invest in some people who know what they're doing. In this case, jungle market, you know, vets all their freelancers, same guys come up with Jungle Scout. Um, they made this, so you guys can definitely get some really awesome pictures from here. So I have a link there in the description. So use that, right? Thank you. Um, the next thing we're gonna go over is 
consider getting 3D renders, okay? This is also a super, super useful thing. And in this case, 3D renders, if you guys don't know, are basically something like this. So in this case, you can see it's not real, but it's like photo realistic. It's almost like too good to be real. And that's, those kind of pictures are the ones that really take your listing to that next level. They cost a lot, but if you can afford them, they will transform your product listing. And if you have no reviews, these kind of images will sell themselves, all right? So that's the third thing for images. Back to our super awesome graph here, we're going now into listing copy, and this is a super, super awesome one. So again, let's zoom in and pull back the curtain for the listing, okay? The first thing you wanna do is use Jungle Scout Keyword Scout to get your keywords, because you wanna throw in some keywords into your listing, into your product uh, features, because Amazon's gonna use it to rank, okay? So definitely use the Keyword Scout. I have a link in the description for $20 off the Chrome extension and also extra tracking for the web app. So pick that up and, um, you know, Obviously it's a affiliate link, but this is what I personally use. This is what I teach my students and this is definitely what you should be using. Okay. So number one is that. And number two is use the Hemingway app to write copy that sells. So instead of going out to Fiverr or to jungle market and hiring someone for you know hundreds of dollars to write the copy on your listing, what you can do is just do it yourself with the Hemingway app and the app is completely free. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use it and what it does. So basically we're here in the Hemingway app.com. I'll have a link to it in the description. It's completely free to use. Like I said, what it does is it allows us to actually see the rough points in our copy. So you'll write down, let's say for example, in this case it says, um, you know, red means that it's too hard to read. People can't follow yellow is less and you can read down here on the, on the right side as well. So to, you know, make it better, you can just come in here add a dot. So, okay, basically what we're trying to do is get all the words here to be grayed out. That means it's good, right? So, um, you can come in here and just, you know, change some stuff and so you change it to, um, yellow and then that's easier to read. Okay. So one thing you can do is go into, let's say we'll go into one of our products here and let's just pull the copy. Okay. And paste it in here. And what it's going to do is it's going to start showing us where the problems are. Okay. So in this case, you know, you can omit this, so it's not good store. You just play around with it and you make it like, you know, easy to read because basically what you're trying to do here is get the grade level as low as possible. So as you guys can see, I went, it went from an, uh, an eight to a seven when I just omitted that word. And essentially why we're doing this is because the lower the grade level is to read, the more likely people are to understand what you're saying, to stay with you, to stay focused and engaged. And that's really, if you guys don't know, that's basically the reason, one of the biggest reasons why uh, Trump, you know, was so, so successful because his speech patterns are of like a grade four or five or, or something level, um, which just resonates really, like resonates a lot with the people um, with the majority of people. So what you're trying to do here is just get your grade level as low as possible because that way you're more likely to sell. All right, so that's what you do here. That's the Hemingway app and it's super useful and that means that basically just by watching this video, you saved a couple hundred dollars from going out and buying um, you know, some guy to do your copy for you. So for those of you guys who actually stayed till the end and um, you know, put aside that five minute you know, cat compilation video, um, I'm gonna show you guys, like I promised, my favorite way to get reviews. And it's not from chatbots and it's not from email sequences. Even though those two things are incredible and they work really, really well, what my favorite one is actually product inserts. There we are. And basically what I've done for you guys is I've actually put a product insert template that you can use for your products in my private Facebook groups under the file section. So all you guys have to do is hit the link down below, head over to the private Facebook page, hit on the file section and find the product template file. Basically it's the exact product insert I use for my products to, to get tons of reviews. So this whole video was about how to launch and rank without getting reviews. Um, obviously on the back end, you want to start getting reviews. So go head over, pick up that product insert template and start using it for your products right now. All right. So if you guys are here, if you guys enjoyed that video, hit the like button, but also most importantly, I want you guys to check out this video right here, there. Okay. It is my PPC only launch strategy. And that one also is without any giveaway services. If you guys like this video, you're going to love that video. So go check it out. I'll see you guys in the next one.